Hi. You know when you look at television and you catch a fleeting glimpse of something that's really attractive, as often as not with me, it's uh, looking at the weather forecast. And they show if it's going to be windy, you'll see a windy landscape. And, and some of it is really attractive. You think, oh, wish I had a camera handy and take a quick photograph. But as per usual, I, I try to remember these, these things and do a version of it. And one, I saw about three, two or three weeks ago, just a tree being windblown. It's a sort of a favourite subject, but I want to put a bit, a bit of bit of foreground and texture in as well. So see if we can do sort of two things in one. All right, OK, so I'll wet the paper as always. This is Fabriano, £130, 15 inches by, by 11. I'll just give it a bit of a wet. Now you will find that the paper expands, so just reclip it. You don't need to shrink your paper or stretch it. And then we'll put in a bit of a bit of sienna. I don't know where the landscape's going. A bit of burnt sienna in there as well. Okay, why not a bit of light red on there as well? It's all the sun city. Um, then we'll put in some paint grey and some alizarin. I've wet my paints first, so I'll give them a spray. Just a bit of blue in with it as well. Then little clouds as we come down to the horizon. I'll just go a little bit darker on that top. Look, I'm just keeping a fairly dry brush. It's not really dry, but let's just just get that. Okay, that'll that'll do. Now the paper is. Uh, spread out a little bit so we'll give it a bit of a reclip nice and flat go to the other side looking at the one I did yesterday of the uh, wooden houses shacks on uh, Romney Marsh near Dungeness the power station the nuclear power station and I looked at my telegraph wires and they were really horrible and I should have done them with a with a pen or with uh, a pencil. I tried to do them with the hanky or no with my inch flat and it didn't really work. Right, I'm going to dry the paper now. Headphones off. Now remember, this is being done from memory. I'm making it up as I go along, just based on an impression of uh, something I saw on television. So we'll, uh, I don't really like holding this cloth and the tray. So the, the, this is just an ordinary food display tray. You can get it online quite easily. They're very cheap, white plastic. <coughs> About just not much smaller than the sheet of paper. Right, let's put in some some foreground, some hilly foreground, I think. Oh, just a bit of green as well. I used to do a lot of paintings like this. So 
a bit of a slight hillock, nice and dark. And here, texture. Yellow there, greedy yellow. So just a bit of blue, a bit of sienna, lovely darks, warm darks, rich. And I can superimpose some stuff over that by scraping out. And let's get a bit of a cluster of a foreground here. I want the tree going from about there over to here, to the right hand side of that. A bit of a bush there. Okay, it's got some really good rich darks now in here. I'm going to try light red and paints grey. Um, really, so that when I etch out some rocks and grasses, it just registers in the contrast between the light and the dark. So it's all very simple stuff. And if you're trying the hate for the first time, don't get discouraged. It takes a while to get used to the amount of water that this thing holds to trap the unwary. But don't quit. Above all, don't throw your brush at the wall. I've done that. Doesn't do you any good. So let's just put in some some pebbly sort of rocks, and then Right, okay, so that's the sort of foreground. Um, and now we'll put in a tree. So I'm just using a bit of blue, a bit of brown, a bit of, bit of palette grey. So let's. Now I want my hake to. When your hake splits, just dab it in a bit of water and bring it together again. Sort of a briar. This is in the hake. Nice way to do the, the whole tree with the, without using a rigger. So this is sort of an abstract really, so I've got one there and we'll just put a little bit of a foil on that side there. Where the way the tree is going. of stuff in here. I used to do all this with a, a small squirrel brush. I learned about big brush watercolour from Ron Ranson, who sort of made it much easier for all of us, really. And what you do with it is entirely up to you. You know, you can run with it. And, Okay, so let's uh, put in some some autumny or some wintry browns on it. Go off the page, otherwise it was if you're just fitting in.
Come on, we'll let him come out with a bit of, bit of dark. Okay. Okay, we can put a bit of uh, sort of grasses, or just bits of interest. Don't be frightened to use your really thick, soft, softer paints to add to your textures. Okay, so there's a nice windy scene. I'm just going to put a bit of dark on one side of this. Okay. Ron used to work with um, paint straight out of the tubes. This is as near as damn it because it's very soft now and I can get all the nice thicker dry brush tones quite simply no right, okay that's uh, put a, I don't think we'll put a bird in there maybe we can a bit bigger or put a smaller brush put a figure in there put it in sort of a ready Scenery. Struggling against the wind. Been blown in, blown off course. A little bit bigger. <coughs> okay, put in a mount and see what we've done. So this is really having fun with watercolour <coughs> or acrylic, whatever you want to use, but just making it look spontaneous, as if you know you put a lot of work in when really you haven't. But I quite like that. I quite like these type of views. <coughs> so no rigor, just a little brush to do the little man. Uh, he looks like he's floating a bit there, doesn't he? So let's just anchor, anchor a bit there. Right. Okay. No more. No more. That's it. So what, what do you reckon? Let's just take it around here. Uh, a windy day, windy day. Let's just uh, bring this up a bit more vertical. It's about 45 degrees, but we'll bring out about 60 odd for observing. I don't really think that needs much more than that. It's, it's what it is, a windy day. Let's just come down with the camera. Okay, so there we're more or less square on, take it out. So there we are, a walk on a windy day. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.